Hello, my name is Luis Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Black Hawk MOD knife, the CQD Mark II Type E. Uh, this is the smaller version of that design knife that was made back then by Masters of Defense first long time ago uh, with a CNC made aluminum handle and a nice blade. Uh, basic difference between the older bigger model was that you had behind here a cord cutter integrated as well. That's optically the, the biggest difference. Uh, it's quite quite a, a lot uh, of a bigger knife than this one and uh, unfortunately I still don't have that in my collection. They are relatively expensive and uh, back then as those were new I had no money of course. Still stuck in Switzerland so that is how that is. So as I saw the smaller version here with the polymer handle I did get me that for test out the design. Uh, we see the box uh, on top, Black Hawk, and then the information that I did tell you. Uh, it has a adjustable blade tension screw, of course, and texture on the grip. Then we have the pocket clip, the glass breaker, and the plunge lock. Uh, basically, like a switch blade. The back side of that of that uh, packaging gives some more information. Uh, a is quite likely economic. We have a, a, a nylon a injection molded reinforced nylon uh, construction on 420 stainless steel frame and the blade is AOS 8A stainless steel of course with a black PVD coating. So that's how that one looks. It's made in Taiwan. It's not made in China for one time. That is pretty good. The knife itself is uh, not too compact even as that is the smaller version. It's quite a knife for the, the size. I have bigger hands so that fits relatively well. Uh, it has that silver button as a lock, basically like a switch blade in the closed position. The, the plunge lock is pretty much flush with the, with the handle. Then as we open the blade, the, the lock is going to stick out. So like this, it's relatively flush and then it sticks out. Then we have on top here that square button as a secondary safety. We can push that forward which then locks the, the plunger here that you can't unlock. Uh, pretty much similar to a safety by a switch blade as well. So like this is on safe, like that is off. Then as the knife is closed we see here that part of the handle has uh, slots and millet grooves in it on both sides so that's basically like a guard uh, that is a bit unusual that a knife has a guard like this uh, then we have here the carbide glass breaker uh, we see in the middle there is a little bit of different color on the, the carbide uh, tip we also see the stainless steel uh, grayish color liners there and uh, the blade of course has double side thumb studs. Uh, this is a tactical knife of course so that is there as well. Uh, then we have the pocket clip with three screws. Uh, you can just reverse it for the other side if you are a left hander. Uh, there is no change that you could screw it on the back side of the of the handle it's just one side that that goes in. I did not yet take it apart and look inside quite likely the screws need a lock tight for B well. Uh, we have here some uh, traction parts and some slots in the middle uh, same on the back side it's just covered up with, uh, with the clip. Uh, usually 
by the older version that were inserts of a skateboard tape like material here it's just molded in the, the nylon handle and we have a lanyard hole that is a bit of all uh, pretty good size and uh, should work with 550 paracord there the blade is nicely done in that black finish uh, it's more like a, a dagger style it's pretty pointed here uh, a drop point but uh, it's really really on the pointy side here and uh, not too much belly in front uh, they make it also in plain edge for such knives I always prefer the serrated the part serrated version but uh, that's just me uh, the thickness is good 3 millimeter so in OS 8 uh, which is like 440c that works pretty well uh, the build quality is really nice uh, no problem uh, other than the corners inside the handle were a bit on the sharp side so I did round that a bit off same on top by that window here uh, that is usually the case that those edges are a bit on the sharp side uh, other than that no problem at all uh, because of the construction of the design of that plunger which we see there inside uh, part of the blade is in friction with that plunger uh, because the plunger is uh, spring loaded in there so the blade is not too easy moving I did adjust the privet pin but you still have a, a certain friction because that is from the from the system uh, so this is yeah quite likely the opposite to a flipper or to a assistant opening knife you really need to do the work to open the blade uh, you get used to it pretty pretty quick I'm just saying it's not a uh, not near like a flipper or assistant opening knife that you simply can push a little bit and it, it does the, the work you actually need to do the work yourself and uh, that all the way to the open position otherwise if you're not gonna do that it's it's not gonna it's not gonna gonna move by itself you, you see that it's the, the pressure of the plunger is that hard that it that it uh, needs a bit uh, a work from you to op to be opened and closed. That is just by design how it is. Other than that, I like it. Has a good grip to it, a good feel. Uh, the guard pieces work too if you wanna wanna hold the knife like that. So that that is all pretty well designed and uh, I need to get my hand on the, the bigger version which is quite a bit larger one day as well so that much about the Black Hawk Masters of Defense Mark II Type E folding knife